Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another meter of Frankish's Folbyhell. This one is from Brauerei Wurm, located in town Pappenheim in uh, Middle Franklin. And it comes in this Euro bottle shape, as you can see, which is uh, a very popular bottle shape for uh, uh, Franconian small private old brewers like this one. It's of course uh, coming from the family that owns this uh, brewery, uh, family name Wurm. That's why it's called Brauerei Wurm, of course, and the Euro bottle shape, as I said, this thick bottle shape. A closer look at the label, old school looking label with a family weapon there, of course, Wurm beer, does it say here's the top label. Folbirchel is the beer that I've been choosing to review from this brewery. Uh, I'm trying to choose only one beer from each brewery since there are so many different breweries uh, and it's funnier to choose to review different breweries than just from one brewery. So first of all, my my goal is to uh, review one beer from each Franconian brewery and after that I can see what, what happens. Here is the uh, top cap also of this Brauerei Wurm. One closer look of the label. A great looking label in my opinion. I like this uh, old school looking labels. Of course they do have some other beers, this brewery and export and uh, vice beer and Mautzen and so on but I think that uh, is a, a good one to to choose because it's uh, al always a beer style that is quite popular. Uh, so let's start with open up the bottle like that, the Guru bottle, and pour it up into this. Um, I think for the best sound, well fitting glass, I always work to re use the right type of glass uh, to uh, help the right aromas from this specific beer to be uh, released, like in this case. Here we see the Folbehel from Brauerei Wurm and uh, extremely pale, I would say, it's tall in color, a nice thick two finger white foam crown also as you can see, looking like this, looking really nice and very very pale uh, yellow color of it. It's even more pale than I thought, but Fantastic. This is how a pale soften looks like, this this uh, pale, I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very pale. I wear it all, and now, finally, let's uh, get the aroma, which is really fresh and nice, real well balanced, and my pale, maltiness and well balanced, uh, mild hops taste also, so. High expectations of this one, I've heard many good things about this beer, so, Brauerei Wurm. Pappenheim Post Folbyhelm. Yeah. This is really uh, refreshing and well balanced, and of course, nice, um, nice taste of it. A great um, Folbyhelm, in my opinion. Here you can see once again the top label for Birchel and weapon and the uh, the main label right here of a Wurm Beer does it say right here so let's start with taking one closer look at the at the label of this one a great looking label of course in my opinion and um, <laughs> you yeah, what does it say Folbyhell, lang und kalt gereift, alcohol content 4.8%, volume, Wurm, Bier, Privatbrauerei Wurm, 91788, Wiesnang, Pappenheim, Zutaten, uh, Wasser, Kressemalz, Hopfen. That's the information here on the, on the label, so there's not so much information, uh, just like it often is from this small private brewers like this one is a good example of in uh, Franconia. Um, anyway, as I say is to do, I, um, I'm gonna show you my books about Franconian brewers. It's always interesting, I, I think, to take a look at how the brewers looking like and read some interesting history 
about the brewery when I enjoy one beer from a specific brewery. So, of course, Franconia Brewers is my big interest here. You can see the look of Brauerei Wurm, and it looks a little bit more industrial brewery as at the look of it uh, compared to what I thought. Uh, Hirschbräu Friedrich Wurm, Familie Wurm, das gute Wurmbier. Hutgasse 2, Pappenheim, Biswang, founded 1135, so very old, uh, extremely old, even to Franconia standards. Um, I would say, Biersorten Vollbier Hell, Vollbier Dunkel, Export Pils, Märzen, Hefeweizen Hell, Hefeweizen Dunkel and Hefeweizen Leicht, okay. Meist getrunken Hefeweizen, according to this book, which is a little bit surprising because I haven't heard any other brewery in Franconia which has the uh, Hefeweizen as their most sold uh, beer style. A little bit surprised about that. I don't know why the Hefeweizen is the most sold one from this Hawaii boom in Franconia. In Franconia other beer styles are often more more popular. The Dunkel, the Ungespundet Lager, the Pils in Unterfranken and um, Rotbier. We have the Kjellobier of course. Um, we have Zwickel. And uh, yeah, many beer salts like that. But um, in this case, it seems like Hefeweizen is not the most sold one. And you like with Um Yeah, that's the information from that book. Now, over to my other book about from Conumbris, which is this book right here, and uh, here you can see Wurmbier Brauerei Pappenheim looking like this, and the information is Gründung uh, 12 Jahrhundert Thomas Wurm, die Bier Pappenheimer, die Familie Wurm steht schon seit vielen Generationen vielen Generationen für das Bier der Burgstadt an der Altmetall. 1974 spaltete sich der Betrieb aus, die Metzerei wurde eigenständig geliefert, aber heute noch das Malz an die von den Brüdern Thomas und Wilhelm Wurm geführte Brauerei. Die beiden sind stolz auf ihren Traditionsbetrieb und das denkmalsgesuchte Haus, in dem der Betrieb auch heute noch arbeitet. Interessanterweise liegt der Schwerpunkt bei den Konsum Konsumenten eher auf den Weißbären. Wir können das gar nicht nachvollziehen, äh, hat doch auch beispielsweise das dunkle Vollbier eindeutige Überzeugungskraft. Uh, sounds very interesting, of course, with this Brauerei Wurm. And as I said, I've heard many good things about it. <coughs> My friend Jürgen is uh, a fan of it. It's one of, her, of his uh, top 20 breweries in Franconia, I believe. And I have big respect for him because he knows everything about all these Franconia breweries. Um, Hirschbräu F. Wurm. Das gute Wurmbier. Biswang in Pappenheim. Wir sollten Vollbier hell, Vollbier dunkel, Pilzexport, Hefeweizen, Nucleus, Hefeweizen, Leichtes, Weizen. Märzen and Radler. Der Klassiker is Hefeweizen, according to this book. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the information from that from that book. But this is a great brewery and a great beer. A big recommendation. I really hope that you can find it. The Brauerei um, Wurm. I mean, look at this label. Great looking one, in my opinion. Of course, the other beer styles is having other colors uh, compared to this green one. But this is uh, a great, great beer. Yeah, that's it for now. Hope you like my reviews and see you again in the next Franconia video.